guys, I'm Talia from Accessibi, here to introduce the brand new Accessibi 3.0. So we constantly make improvements at Accessibility, but they happen in the background usually within our AI and machine learning capabilities. And you can't physically see these updates because they're happening in the background. So that's why Accessibility 3.0 really is so exciting because it's taking place on our visual interface and now you can finally see an update that we've made. I'm going to go through what we've done and walk you through the changes. Let's dive in. We're constantly searching for ways to make our already excellent user experience even better. So we've devoted the last eight months of our ongoing research to explore the fastest, simplest, and most comprehensive ways to take our user experience even further. So if you're familiar with our interface, you'll see that it now has a more modern look, having had a tiny makeover. And here at the top, I'm proud to introduce Accessibility Profiles. The six profiles bundle together common accessibility combinations that together address the need of a specific disability. So all the user has to do is choose the right one for them. I'm gonna go over them one by one and show you how they work. The first one at the top here is the Epilepsy Safe profile. This one lets people with epilepsy use the website safely by eliminating the risk of seizures. These seizures can be triggered by flashing or blinking lights or dangerous color combinations. So notice as I turn it on, the colors are immediately dulled, and this GIF has instantly stopped as well. The visually impaired profile enhances visuals and can be used by people with the majority of visual impairments, such as degrading eyesight, tunnel vision, and glaucoma, and more. See how when I turn on this profile, everything is zoomed in by 100%, and the colors are more saturated and contrasted. Here we have the cognitive disability profile. This profile helps people with cognitive disabilities, like autism and dyslexia, for example, focus and read easier. See how when I turn on this profile, all the important elements, like links and buttons, are now outlined. This makes them stand out a lot more and can be noticed. The reading guide that's following my cursor makes it easier to read one line at a time and not get distracted. The ADHD-friendly profile enables a reading mask along with better color contrast, so that people with ADHD and other neurodevelopmental disorders can browse, read, and focus on a website's content more easily. I'll start from the top here, and as I work my way down, you can see how the mask covers everything other than where my cursor is. The last two profiles are the blind users profile, which makes the website compatible with screen readers, which are used by blind people, and the keyboard navigation profile, which is used by people with motor impairments who browse website using their keyboards rather than a mouse to really navigate a website. These profiles are linked together, as you can see by this little symbol here. You'll also he see when I turn on one, the other is automatically activated. These profiles automatically prompt to screen reader and keyboard navigation users, so they don't need to necessarily enable anything within the interface. Still, you'll see when the profiles are turned on in the interface. Any further adjustments can be made to the website by adding any of the features below here. They can work with the profiles or as a standalone adjustment. So for example, I'm gonna turn on the epilepsy profile and then also click on hide images. As you can see, it all works together. Well, that's it guys. Those are Accessibility's accessibility profiles. I'm really happy to share this update with you and I look forward to sharing many more with you in the future.